hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> tattooed on his back is of course a reference to his potent punch power and not in any way insensitive to the tragedy which unfolded in this arena when Ariana Grande performed Manchester will never forget. <laughs> Hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I'm joined today by the man, the tycoon himself, Mr. Stephen Crump. <laughs> how are you doing, Stephen Crump I'm from JJ right. Crump and Son? I'm alright, Ross, are you? Are you keeping alright? Yeah, looking well. Thank you. Nice uh, four wheel drive Bentley outside. <laughs> I bet that does a few to Gallon. It does a few. It does a Daniel. Yeah, how have you been keeping anyway, Steve? All right, yeah. How are you coping up. with this lockdown? We're in strange times, aren't we? You know, everybody's suffering with their health and yeah. and uh, and the and the mindful well-being of of everybody, and it's just hard not to be with your family and you know and and the restrictions that are put on you, and yeah. then also you've got your 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 businesses to yeah. to take care of. You've got your staff. Make sure they're all right and the, mm. the well-being of them but you've also got your businesses to yeah. to keep pumping and moving so that mm. you can uh, you can survive really how many do you employ steve uh, about 70 70 odd people are in total yeah and are they all at work and that no no some are some are back at work thankfully uh we've do, we're doing like a staged approach bike so that uh it's all done yeah. above board and properly and we uh with the companies we work with, we have to conduct a solve in certain manner, if you know what I mean. So, mm. so we're staging people back, uh, and we should be back up within by mid to end of June. We should be back up to capacity again, hopefully turning uh, turning the work around again. Oh, that's good, then, isn't it? Uh, what do you think is going to happen with boxing this year, Steve? I, uh, I think it's going to come back towards end of year. Mm. Uh, there's lots of talks of trying to do fights behind closed doors and, and me, De myself and Dennis have looked at doing things like that. I think it's very restrictive and mm. I don't know whether we're chasing dreams on that or we, it can happen to be fair. I think I think the British Border Boxing Control are putting uh, like plans together what you've got to do and what have you and, and it is, it's, it's very hard and if anybody can do it I tip me hat off to them because it's going to be very very hard to do it. And make the numbers stack up as well, so that you know you're not burning too much cash in one of them. They've uh, sent letters out saying that there's no amateur boxing until October. Yeah. yeah. So, do you think that'll be the case with professional boxing? No, I don't. No. I think professional. I think they will. I think it's like to be to be fair with government, what they're doing. They've done a great job, and and I can't knock them from what they've done. But they seem to be double standards in everything, don't they? Mm. You know, we can they can now play. Uh, football training so they can now have contact training at football yeah. and I think because of that they can now have uh, we can go back to contact training with, yeah. with boxing so I think it's just a matter of time before it opens up to one as we are us yeah. I think it's just going to take time and we're in nobody's been in this kind of situation before so I think the government are just sucking and seeing on how things turn out really and hopefully yeah. they turn out right for everybody you know but I can see I can see fights happening towards end of August, September. I can see that. 
I know IDM were looking at doing something in July and we were looking at doing something in July. Don't think that's going to happen and I don't no. know whether Eddie's will. If he does, fair play to him and great, but it's, it's hard. It's going to be hard. Mm. What do you think to uh, the rumour mill doing the rounds that they're going to put Huey Fury in with Dave Allen in July on Eddie's show? Uh, <laughs> it's a bit of a banana skin for both of them really that isn't it mm. don't you think mm. uh, it'd be an interesting one if he gets caught he'll go won't he mm. but I don't, yeah. I don't know if Dave could catch him well, I don't know he's a clever boxer you were in you yeah, know, yeah. You know, all Furies are they, they're mm. clever aren't they they're yeah. good on their feet and they've yeah. got movement so yeah that would be an interesting one that would mm. be an interesting one it's to uh, a crossroads fight for them both isn't it yeah it is yeah 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 it is Ross. Uh, what did you think to Wilder fight with Tyson Fury? I thought uh, I thought Fury were brilliant to be fair. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I didn't expect it. Mm. I'll be honest with you. A man losing that much weight as quick as what he did, you know, fair play to him for doing that. But I didn't think he'd have that punch resistance there. I thought Wilder, to be honest with you, would have levelled him. Mm. But fair play to uh, t for Tyson for. For doing what he did, stick to a plan, didn't he? And mm. you know, did it again. Got good on his feet, good movement. Mm. Slipped a lot of his punches, but put it on him as well. You mm. know, and I think he must have he must have known or felt that Wilder were weak in there because he did he did go to him, didn't he? You know, he, he took the fight him, to him. Yeah, he did. He did. He took he ripped his title away from him, mm. and that's what should happen in a world title fight, isn't it? You yeah, know? you should take the belt yeah. in the man's yard. And he did. So, he did, yeah. Fair play he, to him. He proved me wrong. I, I think he did a lot of people wrong to yeah. honest with you, Ross. Yeah. Yeah, it proved all experts wrong. I'm not, not that I'm an expert, but I thought Wilder would knock him out. Yeah. To be honest, thought I thought he'd get to him. I think everybody did, didn't they? I think everybody thought that Wilder, probably round four or five, would Level knock him. him out. Yeah. I mean, you got uh, this is how I look at it. Fury performed out of his skin and he may never not perform like that ever again. And Wilder had a terrible camp and a terrible day at the office, that's what I tell myself. Yeah. And boxing every now and then throws surprises up like that, doesn't it? Like a perfect storm, weren't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, anyway. yeah. Yeah. Do you think that uh, Tyson Fury is gonna fight Joshua? I hope he does. Do you think that Joshua's team wants it or do you think that they're gonna go down the route like they did with Chris Eubank Senior, whereas he never, he never fought James Tony. He never fought uh, Roy Jones. He never fought Michael Nunn. You know them kind yeah, of fights. Yeah. He had all them. Well, he had 19 WBO wins, Chris Eubank, but yet Nigel Ben that win at middleweight and three others. Yeah. Uh, well, former champion. Yeah. Them. Well, they lost to Collins twice, didn't they? He did. Yeah. And uh, the Wat the Watson won won world champion. But I want about. Do you think Joshua's going to go that route, whereas? They're just not going to take them fights. They're just going to want to keep him earning money. It, it seems to be that his his roots are planned carefully for him. I look at it like this, right? The talking pool left. Nobody wants to see that, do they? And then, and then the, they're going to look, in my opinion, they're going to look for Chisora to beat Usyk. Then they'll want the Chisora fight, and then they'll try and sell that because they grew up, they were in the same gym Chisora and AJ, weren't they? Yeah. Master yeah. against a pupil, all that kind of thing. And do you think they'll then go Elenia? They'll go the mandatory routes to swerve Fury, do you think, and keep Joshua earning? Possibly. Yeah. Possibly, I think they will. Do you think that'll be an overkill, Steve? Yeah, it's, it's too much, isn't it? It's too much. I mean, none of them fights, what you've just said. Do you really want some? Who wants to pay 30 quid or 28 quid or whatever it's going to be for one of them? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it went up to 28, didn't it? Well, that way, booking charge and that way. Something yeah. like that. But who wants. There's only one fight people want to see, and that's that's Fury and Joshua, Joshua isn't it? Mm. You know, uh, I've heard Josh, uh, Fury's got to do it Wilder, hasn't he? He's, yeah. he's stood his ground on that. He's not stepping aside. Mm. So, uh, he's, well, it's easy money for Fury, isn't it? If he does that again, yeah, it's money on the table, isn't it? They're but not will he, that. will he win a second time? If he gets caught, the Joshua fights off, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, because there'll be a clause from have a fourth. Well, it could be. And then that gets boring, then, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, that'd you know. be overkill, wouldn't it? Yeah. Do you think the fa the fans are abused too much by promoters, governing bodies, and TV companies? Yeah, I th this 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 is like a monopoly, isn't there? You know, an unspoken monopoly, and and it's not right. Uh, 
yeah, you've got sometimes you've got to you've got to route your your fighter to a world title fight, and and you map him a certain way. But when you become a world title world champion, in my eyes, you've got to fight whoever's been putting you know the 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 pe what people want to see the mm. the kind of the, the proper challengers instead of you know your pool heads and what have you because he's never going to win, is he? No, he's never going to. You know, I hope he puts a good good fight up, and I hope he uh, he kind of tests AJ but he's never we all know he's never going to win and it's just just money making side of things rather than being a proper world champion isn't it yeah I think it's a shame if they don't fight because we've got two world champions from England similar age yeah and if they don't fight I think it'll be a travesty ah it's wrong they should fight if they're both world champions they all want to be number one yeah, don't yeah. They? and they can't be no. So they, they need to fight, don't they? Yeah, that's what I think. Yeah. What do you think to Eddie Hearn's comments saying that Wilder's finished and uh, he's, he's not pay per view now and he's finished because now he's out, now he's been knocked out. But yet Chisora's fighting Usyk and he's got nine losses and he's been knocked out several yeah. times. Yeah. Yeah. And he's not finished. What do you think to that? It's, it's a bit of a uh, gamesmanship, you think? Yeah, it is, isn't it? He's just he's just playing the game, isn't he? You know, mm. he's trying. It's for Ernst. It's it's a business as well as a, a passion because they've, they've got to be passionate about it. But they're looking at the bottom line all the time as well, aren't they? Yeah. You know, and that's all about generating money safely rather than taking a risk. Yeah. You know, but I'm sure it would generate more money if it were Fury and AJ mm. than AJ and Pulev. Mm. And you know, they're going to gross a lot more money doing that. So. And there's a good chance AJ, if if he's on his game and he boxes properly, does he nick it? I don't know. It's a tough. It's a bit tough fight. Mm. If it, if uh, if Fury can get to him, because mm. we all we all know what Ruiz did to AJ, and yeah. they expected that, didn't they? Do you think in Saudi that Joshua fought uh, like a gun shy fighter, frightened to throw his punches, and every time he he looked like he was reaching a lot with his shots, yeah. didn't he? Yeah. He, he didn't want to fight, he wanted to box, didn't he? Yeah. That's what he was doing. He but was he's not a boxer, away. is he? He's a fighter. He's a fighter. Whereas um, Fury can do both, can't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what do you think about the the latest with Dazone and uh, the, the looks like they're going to pull the plug, doesn't it? With, with the, the, the overspent, aren't they? Well, I mean, it were never going to last, was it? No. It were ne the, the monies that they were burning through, it, you can't carry on doing that. It's it's a finite time, and the, and they're the burning through it like mm. like nobody's business. So <laughs> yeah. it's uh, I think everybody knew it was going to happen. Mm. Uh, yeah, I, I'm su I'm surprised it's happened as quick as what it has. But then again, some accountant somewhere must be stamp stamping the fist down on that table, telling them to uh, close them purse strings off because they're just burning through it too quick. So. Yeah. When it, and it, we, we all knew it was going to happen, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, well, I predicted it, didn't I, the yeah. start, and everyone yeah. said, oh, crackers and bitter and a hater. <laughs> like, we all know boxing, don't we? You, you can't throw money around like that. No, yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, you, it's a business as well, isn't it? And you he can't, weren't his money, though, were it? <laughs> no, no. Well, fair play to him for using somebody else's, though, I mean. Yeah, he's, he's, he's had his cut, hasn't he? he yeah, he's, he's done all right. He's done all right, hasn't he? But, uh, moving on, then, right. A lot of criticism has been getting aimed at the Sky narrative. There's a lot of interviews on YouTube, the Sky Sports were talking. They all seem to be reading off the same hymn sheet regarding Dylan White that he's badly done to and that he's not had his world title shot, but he's knocked the pool left fight back, which the, mm. the were, was in the purse bid for that. And they didn't win the purse bid. It were won by a pool left team. Now, if you remember, we went out to Bulgaria, we didn't we, me yeah. and Dennis? Yeah. Uh, I can explain it. The pool left fight, they pulled out that fight, Yui Fury stepped in, obviously he got cut and he got cut and he lost, but he's not Ortez back and now they're saying that uh, he's being froze out by the WBC. Do you think that Dillian White is I can explain it. Just somebody that Eddie Earn can go to, to put a fight on for no belt and keep him pay per view and keep him winning rather than putting him in with Wilder. 
Do you think he, he should have took the fight? I think he should have took the fight. I mean, if you want to become a world champion, you Joshua don't... the fight I'm on about. He did yeah. it back at Wembley. Didn't yeah, he? and it, if you want to become a world champion and that's your dream, why would you knock it back? Four belts at Wembley, heavyweight yeah. championship. Why, why would you world. knock it back? Ninety thousand fans. And he'd have earned handsomely out of that, wouldn't he? Oh, it? five In million that. plus or five and a half on the so upside. So he'd have been financially secure. So why would you knock it back? Because he knew we were going to get beat. Yeah. Really. Yeah, probably. And it's a shame because I do like Dylan White. Mm. I think uh, I think he's a he's a great character for the sport. But is he is he told what to do? Yeah. Is, is he's money rolling his head rather than legacy because he preaches legacy, but yeah. His career, he has got a British title that were vacant against Ian John Lewinson, which we won, he won in he retired in 10th round. That's his belt. He's not fought for a European and he's not world title chances back. Yeah. So does he just want to keep earning and keep ticking over and keeping these dates for Eddie Hearn, but yet he's preaching to fans about legacy? I don't know. Mm. So I've had people be very critical of me because I've, I've been outspoken on this issue. But you know, I'm I'm uh, I'm so over overrun by casuals, aren't I? <laughs> yeah. Well, you are. I mean, it, to be fair, when you, because I, I, I do watch all your podcasts and what have you, and uh, and I have heard you talk about Dylan quite a bit, and it is an hard one because if he were just after money, he could have took that fight and been financially secure on five million. But if he it? lost that fight, would he still would get we? these other ones as pay per view? Possibly. Well, it depends if he's an undercard, doesn't it? Mm. If it had been on AJ's or somebody else's fight, he might have, but. Now, would he headline again as a paper? Pop Josh possibly not. Some? Yeah. Possibly not. No. It's ruined then, isn't it? Two losses. Yeah. Then, yeah. Kind of thing. Yeah. So, but the the Sky narrative they seem to be pushing Anna Woolhouse and Johnny Nelson and blah 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 seems to be that he's been badly done to by the WBC, but that isn't the full picture. No. Is it really? No. Uh, right then. Moving on. What do you think about Billy Joe Saunders? Do you think he wants the Canelo fight or do you think he just wants to keep earning decent money and be known as an undefeated world champion? I he seems to he seems to get in position and, and then, then, some, he, and seems, then he, he does something or Yeah. And he, maybe he's had bad luck with virus because he's a great little fighter. He, he is, I, I do like Billy Joe to be honest with you. I've never met the kid. Do he's just having bad luck? Yeah, I think he is. I mean, what he put out there was was wrong even though you were doing it in jest but, you know uh well it, that comment about how to whack your missus yeah yeah <laughs> i mean it, it i suppose it did fetch a, a a few smiles to people's faces and what have you even though it is totally wrong and it mm. i do genuinely believe it, it it didn't mean no malice in that i think it yeah. were just as a, a a fun thing you were doing kind of thing it, it, it was a jokey thing and I, because of where he's come from and his family and, and his background, I think he, I don't think he'd walk away from a, that Canelo fight. I think he'd take it. Mm. So, I think it was just bad timing and bad luck on, and him putting that out and mm. being in line with Canelo. I mean, I don't know what always got round him, advising him and, and looking after him. Mm. Possibly he needs a bit more of an arm round his shoulder to, to keep him away from doing daft stuff like that because mm -hmm. I think it he's a good fighter and it, I think he could do well with Canelo to be honest with you even though Canelo can, can bang I think mm. he's, he, he can move can't he you know? yeah. do you think that Billy Joe loses that loses his advantages if, if he fights at super middle whereas for me I think he's best middleweight in the world and do you think that we're moving up that 8 pounds to fight Canelo who's fought at light heavy do you think he's giving away a bit of a He's he, he, yeah, he's going to yeah. lose a bit of speed, isn't he? Yeah. His movement's not going to be as, as sharp, I wouldn't have thought, but who knows? Who knows? Yeah. He's getting, he, you know, he's he's getting older as well, so it might mm -hmm. be natural weight that comes back on anyway. Yeah. You know, so I don't, I don't know. But like I said, with him going up to light ever, it does make an interesting fight, doesn't it? With Canelo going up to light ever, yeah. then coming down to 168 to fight Bill, you mean? Yeah. And Bill going up a weight, or well, yeah. he's been up a weight a year now, hasn't he? Yeah. You think he can't make middleweight no more? You think it's a dedication Possibly. problem? Possibly. Possibly. 
Could be. Mm. How old is how old is Billy now? I think Billy's is he twenty nine, approaching so thirty this year. He's, think, he's getting onto the wrong side of his metabolism a yeah. little bit as well, isn't it? Mm. You know, so Michael's. that's yeah. <laughs> I lost mine ages ago. <laughs> but yeah, so if that if it could it could be a bit of that. But I don't I don't think he, he intentionally put that out there to to get the fight scrapped to be honest with you. Yeah. I, I don't think that. Mm. Uh, moving on then to our stable then, uh, what next for Josh Whale? Josh Whale, obviously we were hoping to get him in a title fight this summer, yeah. uh, we can't do that now, we'll be looking at getting him into a title fight towards end of this year yeah. and then I think we'll be looking at pushing him onto the world stage and getting him a, a world next title year. shot next year, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I know I know Dennis is, is keen to do it, I, I want to do it because you you get to know the families, don't you? Yeah. You know, yeah. and uh, nice family, aren't lovely family. You know, the dad, his brother, Josh, and his kids, they're all cut from the same cloth, and they you can tell they genuinely, they're a genuine nice family. Mm -hmm. You know, I've got a lot in common with them because I I started off at building trade myself, so. Mm -hmm. Dave a bricklayer. He is. I know. Bricklayer. Yeah. Well, that's when I was talking to him, and we got we got chatting about it years ago. Well, not years ago, but back to about eighteen months ago. And uh, and I was saying like I used to, I used to be on travel myself when I was younger. And uh, I says I know I know how hard that is. Mm -hmm. And uh, and yeah, it is. It's it's nice. It's nice to see him doing well, and he, he deserves it. He does deserve it. And he's. He puts a lot back into it as well with kids, don't they? Me, yeah. Yeah. Nick, oh, and, Nick and Josh. And Josh. Also, yeah, yeah. Gym and that, yeah. Mm. So it's not like they're in it for fame or fortune, is it? You know, it's their not life. Not that way inclined, are they? No. They don't even do after parties, do they? No. No, they don't. <laughs> they just come fight and go fight up, and go up, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it goes to local and they put a few sandwiches on for it, you know, <laughs> and something like that. Yeah. But no, I've got a lot of respect for them all, to be honest with you, and it'd be lovely to see him dwelling and, and get that opportunity to. Uh, to, to become a world champion and I think uh, if he gets it I'd put a lot of money on it that he'd do it to be honest with you I think do you think it'd happen at Barnsley? That, uh, well, Barnsley that's, Metrodome that's where, the that's where we want round. it I think I don't know Metrodome is a great place isn't it mm. you know it's a great atmosphere depends on who it is doesn't it yeah we fight sure. you know we might we might have to have something bigger I, I don't know it depends on people at Barnsley really mm. doesn't it how, you know, how many of them will come out to support him mm. But you think you think he could fight Josh Warrington at some point if the careers took a, took a, if Josh uh, if yeah. Josh Whale wins one or two more times and Warrington maybe might lose one or they could meet couldn't they? They could. I mean, it'd be a right fight that one it because be, be pocket, there'd be no back, it? yeah there'd, there'd be no backward steps yeah, would there? They'd, just throw, they'd they? be at each other from day dot, wouldn't they? Really, yeah. you know. So yeah, it, that would be a good one. I mean. Josh Warrington, you've got what he's done. He's not a massive punch. It's the amount of punches he's done. It, you know, he throws into. Yeah. You know, he's a pressure fighter. And Josh Whale is. Yeah. Josh Whale might get better of him, you know, because yeah. I think his hands, are, his hands are heavier. I think. Yeah. To be fair. Oh, yeah. So yeah. that would be a good one. Yeah, it'd be a good fight that, wouldn't it? It would. It'd be a nice yeah. fight that for a belt, wouldn't it? Oh, it'd be great. Great for Yorkshire as well, isn't it? Yeah. Be a Yorkshire yeah, rivalry. Yeah. yeah. Be a sellout that. You might have to look at. Uh, Barnes the football club then. Yeah. But then again, it might have to be up in Leeds if it's. Yeah, it might be at Ellen Road. Ellen Road. Road. Oh yeah. Yeah. I've been there. We've been out to cheer on a few times. Are you a Sheffield United fan? I am. I oh am. Oh my god. I am. Uh, all right then. Uh, Cash Alley. What next for Cash Alley, Steve? I uh, I think we've got a couple more warm up fights for Cash. He's he's stripped a lot of weight off. He's looking, he's looking in good shape. Richard's got him in good shape. Hasn't he has knocked him into good shape. Yeah, and the, the thing is with Richard, Rich, Richard, Richard, sort of he expects hundred percent. He's like a sergeant major in that gym, isn't he, Richard? Yeah, yeah. And there have been many fighters, to be fair, that have come and have stayed and and uh, and, and managed to tow that line. What Richard wants him to tow. Mm. And, and take me out after Cash has done that. Mm -hmm. uh, I think he's going to be on his next show, obviously, whenever that will be, uh, as a warm up, and then we'll be trying to get him into some kind of title, European or intercontinental or something like that. Mm -hmm. Try and get him somewhere like that lined up, and then 
we'll see how our weight takes us. You just don't know it every weeks, do you? Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, but yeah, hopefully, his he's head's he's heads in the right place now. Richard's got him into great shape. It's, it's down to him to perform, isn't it? Yeah. You know, everything's been put there for him now. It's down to him to, to do the business, really. Yeah. So. Yeah, so who, who do you think for Cash Alley next then? I think we just need a. Another win. Uh, we need another win. A lo some kind of local, local title, uh, and then I'd like to see David Price again. Would you? I would. I. I would love to see that. I wa I watched first fight, and I think Cash were actually getting the better of David Price as mm. that fight as he was growing into that fight, and I th if he hadn't done what he did, I think he'd have won that. Because mm. I think David Price didn't want it no more. No. I might be wrong, I don't know, but... He looked like he was tiring, didn't he? Yeah, he did. I think th about three, six or seven frowned or something like that, that mm, he beat him. Like it, yeah. it was mid-round, mid-at-fight. Mid, mid, mid Midway through the fight, yeah. And I, I would like to see that again, and I think it would be great if he gets that chance, because he could right his wrong, yeah. really. And I think it would be good for Cash. He could take a punch, Cash, as well, can't he, I know, I've noticed. Uh, yeah, yeah. The big Price is one of the biggest hitters out there, isn't he? Yeah, it? he is. Big truck. Yeah. I mean, he has got a good punch on David Price, and... Yeah, it, it, if he can if he can win that, then it puts him right back in mixed on it. Yeah, I think it does. Yeah. Uh, Tommy Frank, super oh, Tom. Tommy Frank, super Tommy. Uh, yeah, One we, little favourite, Steve. He is. He's a good lad, isn't he? He's a good <laughs> lad. The thing is with Tommy, it is like he's, him and Tommy and, and Josh are very much alike, aren't yeah, they? You know, they, they they are they are like ultimate professionals, aren't they? They yeah. just love the fight. So we've got his, his world title fight is rescheduled for September. Uh, it's a shame we've had to wait because it would be lovely to call him a world champ now because I'm sure he's going to do it. And then I don't know where we'll go. Away. Obviously, we'll probably be defending. Look at probably uh, trying to get another world title fight on. I don't know, I don't know, we've just got to get this win over the line first, haven't we? Yeah. I think everybody's like, they need to get this win and his title round his waist. And then we'll probably sit down with him and see where he wants to go. But yeah. it'll be lovely to call him a world champion. And for me, it'll be like, as my first world champion that we've we've brought along, really, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, uh, yeah. I'm sure he's going to do it. I'm sure he's going to do it. And I know he's been keeping himself ticking while mm. we've been in this lockdown and... I think Glenn's lent him keys to to the gym and what have you, and he's been going in, he's been doing his old runs and stuff like that, and his yeah. sprints, and so I think he's been keeping himself in in some shape. And it'd be a fool not to if he knows he's got a world title fight looming, yeah. won't he? You know, if if he ain't got that, he's got no motivation, but he's got big motivation there, hasn't it, minute? Mm. Did I, did Dennis ever tell you that story about when I left his place about five in the morning one day? And I caught Tommy Frank, well not caught him, I seen Tommy Frank jogging up this hill. Did you? Near Dennis's, and uh, I pulled up, I went, uh, 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 <laughs> super Tommy. <laughs> he come on, he had headphones on. Did he? Running up hill. Oh, bless so I was telling Dennis, he says, well next time you go, you, you're up there, up there at that time in the morning, leave your mind. Go have a drive about and see if you can see Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> leave <him> Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> I bet there weren't any others out running, were there? <laughs> no, I didn't think there would be. But no, you've got to, you've got to, uh, you've got to admire Tommy really for how he conducts himself. His interviews are absolutely spot on that he does. Mm. You know, he is, he is a little, little proper professional, and I just don't touch wood that come. Is it eleventh of September? It is, isn't it? Yeah. Eleventh yeah. of September, he, uh, he becomes world champ, and the new. Mm. That's what we want, isn't it? Do you think they'll be able to fly him over, Flores? I think so by September, yeah. Yeah. I would have thought so. I would have. I mean, they, they're on about flights opening up next month, aren't they? Yeah. So, I, I should imagine he's going to have to come over and possibly do two month, two week quarantine and all what have you. Mm. Uh, and that's something else we've got to look at, and because mm. uh, he's going to want for two weeks, he's going to be wanting in a gym, be in a gym somewhere mm. as well, isn't it? You know. Mm. So there's a lot of planning, even even for that. So. There's, there's hurdles to jump through, yeah, really, aren't there? Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, uh, What's happening with Cheyenne, the German girl that fought in Barnsley? She's... It, 
obviously with what's happening we can't get her over here but I know I've been following her on uh, Instagram and what have you and I know she's she's training in in a back garden and, yeah. and what have you so she'll be she'll be back on us cards I'm sure she will I'm sure she'll be mm. back over here with us uh, I think Richard's took a bit of a shine to her uh, and wants to help her uh, yeah yeah and it I had a chat with him when because she fought in Pim Barnsley didn't she for us Glass, yeah. and and he said like, gotta watch her. She's she's good. Yeah, she's got He rates her. So if Richard rates her, then that's good enough for us, really. You know. So I think he just needs to probably. We could do her over here for probably three to six months for him to uh, really rip into her in gym really and see see if she's still here then she she might be thumbing it down and want to get on the family to get back yeah. you know but i'm sure if she uh if she if she can get get through this like we've all got to get through it she'll be fine you know uh moving on then uh kane salvin and keenan wainwright and suffy what, what's happening with them because one suffy supposed to be fighting Kane. Kane, yeah. Kane. Yeah. We were obviously the fact that we had lined up what got cancelled because of uh, COVID. We got Kane and so fighting for an area title. Uh hopefully that'll just get passed on to the next show. So we're looking at them two win toe to toe together, which I think will make a really good dust up between them. Uh they both they both got good talent and uh it'll be interesting to see who comes out on top on that mm. and then uh, Keenan we haven't got I don't think we've got anybody lined up for him yet but obviously he'll be he'll be fighting they're all itching to fight aren't they because they yeah. need to get paid so mm. uh, they, he'll, Kane, Kane will be back out and Keenan Keenan fucking hell mm. Kane and Keenan mm. it's like Keenan and Kel isn't it I rate that Kane solving me I really rate it I do mostly. yeah I think he's the best one out at gym I do moment, the prospect. I like so surprised me to be honest with you. So has surprised me because at first I thought he's not wanting it. He's not. Mm. And, but his last fight, I saw something different in him, and it mm. got that. It got a bit of menace in him. Yeah. Whereas before it was, I'm here, but I'm not. If you know what mm. I mean. It, it it was as if he didn't really want it. Whereas I could see a difference in him in his last fight, and I hope it builds from that. Mm. Keenan. I think Keenan will be a different fighter after uh, suffering a loss uh, a couple of fights back. He, he he made some big improvements on his last fight, and I think it's just uh, experience in it. Yeah, it's just a matter of time. He's just got to build himself up a little bit, and I'm sure he'll get into some title fights. I'm sure I'm sure they are on cards for him as well. To be honest with you, he's just got to learn, and that loss would a learning fight, not a loss, really. Because mm -hmm. if he had carried on like he were, he, he was gonna probably lose a few more mm. it, it, it le he's learnt from that because he, I think he thought he could just go in and blast anybody out and uh, I think he, he's, he's learnt he's got to he's got to put his, his boxing head on rather than just blasting people out kind mm. of thing and we saw that in his last fight so I think it, it's, it's matured him a little bit you know and like I say they've all got to learn haven't they the, the young and the start of their career aren't they really mm. you know so we need we need uh, could do we Rich to rip through them really, can't we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get them fit. Yeah, get them fit, yeah. Get them on the toes. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, what do you think to uh, Glyn Rhodes at the moment and we as Jim, do you think it's coming on? Yeah, Glyn's got a, he's got a great setup, up hasn't he? long enough, hasn't he? Yeah, and it's his world, isn't it? You know, and... Uh, not at the moment. Well, now. He's on a downer. He's, uh, he's stuck at home with a beard on his face at minute, isn't he? got a beard? Yeah, last time I saw him, he got a beard. I don't know if he shaved it off. I think he's done all his garden he can do. I think he'd built some kind of decking and uh, patio area and stuff like that. And I think he was knocking tables and chairs up or something out of, out of wood. So. Uh, do a little car boot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably. But no, I, sh I should imagine he'll be if if trained combat training can come by, contact training should I say? I could I I would have thought he'd be back in gym today, like making yeah. sure the floors are clean and everybody's coming back in and yeah. it'll give him a put a spring back in his step, won't it? You yeah. know, he'll be back up on it. So be good for everybody. Mm. Be good for everybody. What do you think to uh, Fuki as a trainer? I like Fuki. 
I don't like it. Kid feel, kid yeah, man. I mean, uh, I, I think he were. I think media jumped all over him when he took uh, Cal. Yeah. And even though Cal won, they treated it as if he lost, didn't they? Yeah, but look at look at the kid and what he went on to do after. Well, yeah. He beat exactly. the kid. He'll beat. Uh, he beat Jeff Horn, didn't he? He'll beat Pacquiao. Yeah. Yeah, so it so we're no mug, were it? It were no mug. No. And Cal beat him. It's not as if Cal lost, is it? Yeah, you but know? when you've got Dominic Ingle doing interview after interview after interview, having little digs yeah. in on the right platforms, it, it can do a lot of damage and, to a man's confidence. And I don't think it helped Dominic, Dominic being ringside as well. To no, be honest with you. People, I don't think it affected Fuke, no. but I think it affected Cal. But Fuke, he's got a bit of class, he hadn't come out and have a Dominic, he, he just said, oh, it's constructive criticism and blah, 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 because he's a yeah. rookie trainer. Yeah, but and he'll take it on the way. I do as well. I do, I think he's a great kid, I think he's, he's just got time, hasn't he, you know. Well, he knows game, doesn't he? He's been in his spot all his life, hasn't he? Yeah, really? Dominic Ingles had one amateur fight and got knocked out in the space of 20 seconds. So that's his amateur career. Fuke were a pro, amateur yeah. and pro. Yeah. He fought Kel, didn't he, in amateurs? Yeah. Yeah. So I thought it were harsh to have a go at him. Yeah, but what it a bit of sour grapes as Maybe. well. Maybe. Well, you got him back there, haven't you now? But, or has he? I don't know. Is he going to fight again? They're saying no. Are there people in the game, yeah, saying he'll never fight again? Right. So we're going to see, aren't we? It's a shame, because we all know what fight we want to see, but that's never going to happen, is it? It's lost its sparkle, Calm Brook, now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's like everybody knows it was going to happen, but is it, you know? I don't know. I don't know if it will. Who'd, who'd want to pay for it? I won't be all that asked about paying for it, to be honest with you. Would you? Yeah, yeah. So, it's it's a shame it didn't happen when it should have. We want to see it though, won't we, But it, they, they won't be in the peaks, would they? No. It's it's like two retired fighters coming out to have a pop at each other. Like isn't Tyson it? Holyfield. Mm. Yeah. I mean, all this talk about Tyson, is that real? Or is it all just media? Who's going to give him a license for starters? I mean, it looks like he's got in shape, doesn't it? Yeah, but there'll be no drug testing, will there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it'd still be in his system from all that year, because he took that much, didn't he? Yeah. They were on it all the time. I mean, I, I don't, have you ever read his book? Yeah, he admits everything, doesn't he? Yeah, he proper were on it. So, fair play to him for owning up to it, like, but he's too old now, isn't it? You know. And he's still got, he, he must have got a few quid now. I know he were, he were bankrupt at one bit. He's not going to be like he were for wealth, but he'll always get by, won't he? Yeah, yeah. Whether it's just that boxer thing that he wants, he's got to get back in ring. Well, if he wants to get back old. in ring, why don't he go spar somebody and get it out of his system that mm. way? Why do they have to be paid 20 million to get in ring and that? Yeah, yeah. You know, it's taking bread off the table for the next generation of fighters, I think. It is in a way. It is, isn't it? Right? I don't agree with it, and I don't think it should be allowed. No, I don't should. want to see it, me personally. That it, that age could be fatal, couldn't it? If they get it wrong, it's like a punch wrong. Yeah. Could kill them, couldn't it? Of course it could, yeah. So nobody wants to see him hurt like that, do they? So, Would he be Dave Allen, Mike Tyson? I reckon he could do a lot of damage to a lot of fighters, Mike Tyson. Yeah. Yeah. Over one round or something. Over his head, yeah, well, they might not want to do more than one round after being. I, I reckon he could be still a, a bit of a force, to be honest with you. His, yeah. pu his punch resistance ain't going to be there, is it? Yeah. Or his speed. So he's just got to get to them. So he's probably had to say three rounds and, and they'll be in a world of trouble, to be fair. Do you think he'd be at 53, yeah? Possibly, yeah. Yeah, but you know, that's nine minutes, isn't it? Yeah. Nine minutes of, of mayhem. That's it. So. Mm -hmm. Most people couldn't get themselves fit for like that, can't they? Especially somebody like Mike Tyson. Yeah. And I should imagine he could still bang. So, mm. yeah, I reckon if he did come by, he could, he possibly could make a bit of a, a splash back in heavyweights. Mm. But who'd want to fight him? Yeah. You know, could you see a young heavyweight wanting to go in ring with a 50 year old bloke like that? Well, if they won, they, it won't be a good win anyway, would it? You if they lost, you can say, well, lost you with your three-year-old. Yeah, so why would they want to do it? Mm -hmm. so, so it'd have to be somebody his own age, wouldn't it, if he comes back? Yeah. And they'd have to sell the fight then, wouldn't they? But why does Olifield want to fight? Because he's another one that's done 300 million, isn't he? He's a gambler. I thought, he'd, I thought he'd been careful with his money, Olifield. 
No, he done it all in. Really? Bankrupt, another one. He got about 100 yeah. kids, hasn't he? Well, he got about 14 kids or something. Oh, no, Tyson, if you ever wanted to sleep with your bed, you used to buy my Rolls Royce, didn't you? So, mm. here's your car. So. Mm. Interesting. It is, pal. It is. Uh, what do you think? Well, sorry, where do you think you'll be in the bo in boxing, Steve, in two years from now? If you will still be doing it? Yeah, I do. I do. I think. <laughs> Well, I know we'll have got a world, couple of world champions on us, on us books. I'm hoping a stable's grown a little bit more because I think people will gravitate to us a little bit more. Mm. Uh, I'd love to put a fight on in Vegas. When when I first, so I've been with Dennis now two years, and uh, one of the things he said is, "What do you want out of this?" And I said, "I'd love to be able to have a fight in Vegas." Mm. And uh, I have a world champion and I have a fight in Vegas and I love that. That your boxers are ticking and aren't they? You can't get much better than that, yeah. you, know? you know. Getting a local lad and having him on in, in Vegas. Mm. Uh, like he like Dennis did with Ricky and what have you. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, I'm I'm not in it just a, as a, a bit of a, a gimmick thing. I, I love it. And so and I'm not saying we're ever going to take the world over or anything like that because I don't really want to be like competing with people like that. Yeah. I just want to do right for our fighters, make sure we get them as much money as we can, the right fights for them and, and enjoy it. And as Dennis says, make some memories, you know, and we can look back and go, can you remember when we did this? Can you remember? And you know, that's what I want. Mm -hmm. I'm not in it to try and make money, I don't like that. Or, or because it's a bottomless pit, isn't it, boxing, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's a gamble, isn't it? It, it is a gamble. It is a gamble. And, you know, uh, sometimes it does raise your eyebrows when you're having to throw plenty of, of dough in to put a fight on and get it get it sorted and what have you. But, you know... It's the buzz, isn't it? it it's great. There's nothing like it. Mm. You know, that fight week, I call it fight week, and what have you, wake up, and I know that they're not on par with what... Earns and Warrens are doing, but what we do, it, it's brilliant, mm. absolutely brilliant. And when you see the families and you meet the families, and it's great. And mm. that's what I like. I love that, absolutely love it. And as long as this fighters are well paid, and we get them as far as we can, because we can only do so much for mm. them. It's down to them at the end of the day. It's them yeah. that step through them ropes, isn't it? Yeah. As long as we do all our jobs right and we have a good time, that's my boxer's tick really. Mm. But I would just like to. Being either have a fight or be involved with a fight in Vegas, I think that'd be that's mm. like magical in it, you know. Yeah. Love the buzz of it all over there and all that. So that's where I'd like. Have you been it. to Vegas? Too? Yeah, I've been a couple of times on holidays and what have you. And uh, jolly ups. Yeah, piss ups and that, you know, good good booze ups and that. But it's a funny place, isn't it? Mm. It's a funny place. So yeah, that's that's all I want, pal. I'm not not looking to. Uh, become a multi multi millionaire out of it I don't like that I don't I'm not bothered about that side of things you know I've got enough money with my other businesses to to kind of keep myself happy so I'm sure happy it's now. this this is what I'm I'm more bothered about having a good time and making memories with it and having the people around us are, are proper and, and we have a good time with everybody you know mm. that's what it's about is there going to be any new signings do you think it next six month or anything i'm sure they will be way. i'm sure they will be i mean it's got everything's gone quiet at minute haven't they you know every, everything's kind of been mothballed and what have you uh but i'm sure that i'm sure fighters will gravitate to us to be honest with you, when they realize what we can do with people and how we can bring them on and how we can be right with people yeah i'm sure fighters will want to come and fight with us we've got a few a few things up our sleeves which obviously i can't talk about yeah, yeah, yeah. But once these come out, then I'm sure things will move in the right direction for us. Sure they will. And obviously, working with Eurosport and BBC at the moment, looking to put yeah. give, give us a platform, BBC iPlayer, isn't it? It is, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's all better than it were, isn't it, I suppose? It and is. The virus has ruined a lot of things, hasn't it, obviously? It has. It has. Uh, yeah, I mean, where we started with free sports, that's where we started with. So which has been great for us, to mm. be honest with you, and at least it's given us good exposure. Mm. I think uh, moving moving on in the right direction is is where we are now, and uh, 
it's onwards and upwards, I think, Russ, yeah. to be honest with you. I really do. I can't. It's a shame this virus has come along and, you know, I know this is only sport and it's affected a lot of people in in horrible ways. We, we're losing their families and that. And my heart goes out to every one of them that's lost a member of family due to this. But I think, uh, I think sport will become massive again, to be honest with you, Russ, because people need that outlet, don't they? Yeah. You know, football's not going yet. So when when football and boxing comes back, I think people will, will realise what they've missed. Do you think? I think so, yeah. yeah. I mean, my brother-in-law was banging on about watching Bundesliga because that's the only football they can watch. Is he watching it? And he's well? watching it, and it's live. Jeez. You know, I like football, I love my football, but I only want to watch teams what I want to watch, in a way. Mm. But everybody's to their own, innit? Yeah. You know? But if people are, are prepared to watch foreign football teams, they're gonna watch. They're gonna watch some fighting, aren't they? Yeah. You know, I think I think boxing will come right back to the front again. I really mm. do. I really do. Mm, brilliant. Well, <coughs> it's been a pleasure to have you on channel again, Steve. You're welcome, pal. You're Any well. time. Any time. Hope you're well. And uh, you look like you've got a bit of a tan. Stuck in garden, innit? Stuck in garden. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I won't sound that uh, tanned, to be honest with you, because she's had me working in garden all the time, and I'm only saying that just in case she watches this. <laughs> have you got one of them long moles that you sit on, Steve? I have, uh, I have. Uh. Uh, well, that's not garden, is it? Well, I have to go out edges with me push one, because that way I'm going to edges, but yeah. <laughs> are you about Dennis falling off his, his long mower? He has, has Yeah, broke his rib. Has he? Yeah, did he tell you? I ain't tell me well, that. No, he's kept that quiet, hasn't he? Two weeks ago, he shaved his head as well, didn't he? Aye, has he? He's like you, <laughs> Phil and Grant Mitchell. That's it, Mitchell Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a goatee though, Dennis, now, hasn't he? He has. And you're not going for a goatee. No, nah, I'm going for a bit of stubble, but it, it gets on my nerves after a bit, to be honest with you. I have to start shaving it off. It itches, doesn't it? All right, then. well, listen, thanks for coming on, No Steve. problem, pal. Appreciate You've been it. a real tonic. All right, up, take care, mate. Thank you. See you, <laughs> you like that one, didn't you? Right, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me. Because uh, we're on this journey together, aren't we? So, anybody got any ideas for the channel, fire them over to me porkycorner at mail.com all right shout out to innovation alloys and south yorkshire packaging all right don't forget to subscribe keep on trucking